is don't just say, I, I think, my logic, my vibration, my, vibration, my feelings. Yeah, everyone has feelings. That's why we've got Brexit, brother. Yeah, so now yeah, what someone. you're bringing is something new. Correct. Now, well, that's what Hamza did. No, no Hamza, so 2017, okay. started so, something so new. What is important? It's is, a philosophy, okay. not a religion. I understand. It's a way so of what, thought. Okay, so what's important is if you're going to bring something new, bring it. Which will, like I say, digress to what? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi being a messenger of Allah. Yeah. It's all going back to that point. And I've given you the key to unlock the box. Okay. Convince me he's not. But I believe after him came other messengers. Yeah, but, the, but then... You guys are saying no. I believe so, they then, came and I have the proof of it. There's no information Thanks. Thanks. that's proving Thanks. that. We're not talking about you on the pitch, talking about yeah. me. Okay? So I'm just explaining to you. No, because you said... Prove it. No, 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 I didn't. No, 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 then that means he's not a messenger of God. That means the Quran is not from God. That means I don't have to adhere to what he says, and then I'm open to whatever. All right. So that's you, that's your key. So all you need to do is prove. Prove is the wrong word. Convince me that Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, isn't who he claimed to be. But they, no, no, no. But you convinced. No, no, but have they proved that to you? And here's the irony. Do you want to hear the irony? Have they proved that to you? Do you want to hear the irony? Do you have proof? Do you want to hear the irony? Seven hundred and thirty-five. Do you want to hear the irony? Yeah. You believe Muhammad is a messenger of Allah? I'm telling you, I'm going <laughs> by your stories. <laughs> Everybody's stories. Story. 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 And what I love is the final no, no, story no, 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 where there's the a Hamza. The, point the, the prophet of the Jews is called Hamza. Point, point by the way, his name is Hamza. Did you know that? His name is Hamza. Okay, and he came and he's like, guys, no, you know what? Jews, no, Muslims, Christians, you know, I understand it. let's step forward. The key I gave you to unlock the, the box, right? Right? But now give me your evidence to examine it, to dissect it. There's no evidence. Why should I invent evidence? The problem is, you already believe in the box. <laughs> so no, it isn't. It. No, no. no. I believe what you guys, and I understand what you why guys you, believe. Why do you believe what we believe? I don't, listen. You remember, you're talking to a person that doesn't have beliefs. Why? I, I stand, I want to know, I, I live by the right, uh, knowing the right... Uh, you don't know nothing. The right question and not the nothing. wrong answer. You don't know nothing. I'm not interested in the wrong answer. You don't know anything. Okay. I'm here to learn. You don't know anything. Okay. You have I'm, no proof for all of these things. 100%. Right, right. So okay. the point here is this. What you believe is up to you. Okay. You're telling me what you just said now. You believe Muhammad is a messenger of Allah because we believe it. I don't believe that. You don't believe that. No, don't. Right, halal. Listen, All right, you're, you're playing with words. We're not here for an English uh, class. The issue is. I'm not playing with words. We're going to go with the whole, no, stop, 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 stop. The, the whole history whoa, whoa, whoa. of the Christianity no, and no, no, Islam no, 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 and the Buddha. No, no, My no, question no. was Are you we going to have it. future prophets? Guys, you, you, you closed it well, you and you told it. me, based on his, his guys, information, guys. that there's always a possibility if the new evidence is presented. You just said, this is your words, this is your words, and you can watch the video. And you'll hear yourself say these words. I believe Muhammad is a messenger of Allah because you believe it. And I believe it from your stories. So you said. So are you lying now? That's not a, it's not a question of lying. It's a question of in this paradigm. Right. Let's go for the for the information and the history. Oh, okay. That, first thing, first thing. That Jesus existed 2,000 years ago uh, and Muhammad 700. The original let's go. Let's continue that path. What? In reality, these are information. This, this is a story they've given us. Do you have real scientific evidence so right now? So you believe the story? We're playing this game that there's a story about no, Muhammad and, and the Buddha and the uh, no 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 what and game Jesus. Are we playing? And in this game, you guys are saying that it's a closed book. What game are we playing? Of uh, religion. Well, how's that game? Because there's no scientific evidence for your claims, correct? Okay, sorry. So you believe the methodology, the philosophy of science, can determine whether God exists or not? It can point uh, into a direction. Really? That nobody can actually debate because there's no evidence. It's not observable. Hundred percent. God is observable. God, you can see him, you can hear him, you can touch you him, can you can God. feel him. He's everywhere. What does he look like? And it can be anything you want. God is everywhere. Are you a pantheist? I don't know what pantheism means. Pantheism, I believe God is in everything. God is everything. God is in everything. Why do you believe that? Because it's logic. How is that logical? Because the word God for me is everything. Which logic are you applying when you say God is in everything? When we talk about God, to me, it's all the energies that have always existed and that have always that exist. How's that logical? That's my, that's my knowing see, right see, now. See, see, for me, you have another knowing? Can you prove that see, scientifically? See, for me. You have another knowing? Can you prove that no, scientifically? No, it's a term. I don't have to prove oh, okay. anything. It's no, a term. No, 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 but you said, you it's said, a term. See, here's no, no, the difference between me and thee. The difference between me and thee. You believe God's in everything. 
I believe God's outside of everything. So, so in everything there's no God? In creation, no. Oh, so in everything there's no God? No. Hamza. What? So you're saying in everything there's no God? No. Oh, perfect. Thank you. That's your belief. Right. So what's your point? The point of the story is we're here to discuss whether Islam can actually evolution. We found out today that no, it no, doesn't. It and in the Quran, it says that there's no way going to be any change. But he said that you guys have actually opened the fact that if there's evidence, change would be accepted. But there's no evidence. That's not what I said. You're being very disingenuous here. In what sense? I'll tell you why. You know, and some of your arguments are completely illogical. I'm here to ask questions. Me, you guys are pretending as if well, I have arguments. Well, when, you, ask, when you shotgun and ask a series of questions, many of which require a little, little bit of elaboration, it doesn't give us time to be able to you know deal what? with things you know properly. If there was a, if there was a little doll made when you right, make a claim that where is the evidence for, uh, uh, why is why are people not convinced of the evidence of Islam or, or, or Muhammad, peace be upon him? Yeah. There are people today who are not convinced that the earth is round. They believe that it's flat. There are, there are people who believe that we never went to the moon. Right? Whether they're right or wrong is not the point. My point to you is, people believe and accept whatever they believe and they accept because of their own predispositions. It's a psychological issue that people have. Right? So if I'm predisposed to believe or accept certain things, I look for confirmation bias for things that feed my own predispositions. I agree. Okay? And that is the beauty about Islam. Correct. Because Islam says... Islam doesn't just say, here it is, believe it, accept it, otherwise you're going to go to hell. No. Elaborate Islam on that. Where's says, evidence? Islam says to you, as a, as a disbeliever, I'm not saying you're a disbeliever, but says to you as a disbeliever, that if you are truthful, then bring your evidence. Come with us with rational, reasoned arguments and evidence, and we will sit down and we will have the discussion. And then based upon the evidence that you show and I provide, we can then come to a conclusion. Now, you may still not accept it. That does not in itself make it untrue, does it? Yes, it could does. still be true, right? Yes, yes, it, it could be, right? And, yeah. Or it could be false. Okay? So the acceptance or the denial of something is not the validation of it being true or not. That's logic. Basic logic. You understand my point? Yeah. So when you propose these arguments that you can't convince, a, Chris to the ring. You can't convince no. a Christian of... Uh, of Islam, therefore, it, it's somehow weak or wrong, is an illogical the point argument. Is it's a belief system. Oh, just explain correct? your point then. It's, it's a belief system. It's a belief based I mean, on. I mean, nobody says I'm going to become a Muslim right. because you know what? This is evidence. And right I'm now, go over there. it's a belief. Either my parents were Muslims right. or I, right. I, you know, now, the now, Muhammad, uh, now, Muhammad uh, now, Ali Khan style. If it's a belief. Or Hamza style. If it's a belief, you're right. It is a belief. Yeah. Now, if the belief is based without reason, that's delusion, right? Or it's, it, it could be lies, correct? Anything could resonate. My answer, I'm, and, I'm asking you a question. I push you into that uh, If direction. I believe Islam is true, yeah. without providing good reasons as to why I believe it, then you could argue that's just blind following. Yeah. Correct? Okay. If you deny Islam without giving good reasons as to why Islam is false, right? Then you're living in the same delusional aspect of blind following, which is what? People have told me I'll accept it. You understand my point? Yeah. So we're rational, educated, sensible. Okay. But do you think there's anybody in the world that would go towards the path together? of Islam versus the path of spirituality? And when I talk about spirituality, I'm talking about the love of everything, living in the ego, uh, being honest, loving everybody, doing compassion, rejecting fallacies, uh, fighting the villain spontaneous will to, to the higher being, whatever it is. Isn't that a better thing than saying, let's pray five times, let's marry four, hold let's do this. I'm giving an example. Much of what you said yeah. about compassion. Yeah. About Forget about Allah. Christianity and all religions. Let We're me, living in one right, paradigm. You've one the question. Let yeah. me answer the question. Much of what you said about compassion, about uh, charity, about decency, about honesty, about integrity. Is in Islam. Right? Is in Islam. But without, uh, we hold don't want the above. Hold on a second. Let's move the above part. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Brother, how arrogant is it for a human being that Allah created in your mother's womb from a sperm drop, which is what Allah says in the Quran, that today, you, after giving birth and Allah gave you the sustenance and the very oxygen that you breathe, that you stand up and you challenge Allah that, why should I pray? Why should I do these no, things? No, why should, why should I pray five times a day? Why not pray all the time? It's a, it's a high, no, you're wrong. So it's a you're very wrong arrogant position. No, you're wrong. Now, hold on a you're second. You're arrogant for saying, I'm just going to pray five times a day. 
the me biggest kuffar in the world are Saudi Arabia. Let me finish. They're the highest importers of alcohol so in the world. So let you're, you're wrong there. Let me just finish my point. I'm telling you, let's do let, it, take let them me, a step let, up. Let me just finish my point. Yeah. Now, the critical thing here is whether Allah told you to do those five times prayers. You're saying he did. Hold on a second. Through Muhammad, hold because on, he was the messenger. Hold on a second. I'm telling you, great, but just let's, let's take a step up. Just relax for a second. If you have good reasons to believe that Allah indeed okay. instructed the Prophet to teach the people to pray five times a day, then I believe if I'm convinced by those reasons that it would be inherently disrespectful and arrogant of me and treacherous of me than to do otherwise. How old was Nabi Muhammad? Sorry. Do you understand my logic? Yeah. Do you understand, my logic? Do you understand yeah. my logic? Yeah. Yeah. So if I have good reasons to believe that, why would I reject that? Now, if you disagree with my reasons, then do what the Quran says. Show is, evidence. Is don't just say, Against I it. think, my logic, my vibration. my vibration, my feelings. Yeah, everyone has feelings. That's why we've got Brexit, brother. Yeah, yeah. Feelings cause Brexit. Yeah, forget feelings. Let's deal with evidence. Let's deal with uh, reasoned arguments as to why you believe what I believe is false. Then I can respect you. I can, I can respect you. But if you just say... Remember, today I'm here to pick your minds. I haven't... Uh, there, there's been no speech from my part. I'm picking your minds. I'm finding out how it works. Good reasoning is the basis of your belief. Sorry? Good reasoning yes. is the basis of your belief. Yes. Allah says in the Quran... some other systems yes. that have good reasoning for their belief. It's basically just beliefs. No, that's not true. So, so yeah, it's just good reasoning that no. makes you believe... No, 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 not good do reasoning. You, do you accept a belief without proof could be true? Having good reasons, you right? Accept, and having a reason. Reasoning. Do you accept a belief yes. without proof could be true? Do you, what I'm trying to tell you is if there was an island, there was an island, just before you say, there was an island, an island, no Islam, no Christianity, don't you think that there could actually be a civilization there living a very high frequency, you know when I talk about frequency and vibrations, you know, a high frequency and high uh, uh, modern day vibration of no, no, honesty no. and compassion no, and love and all that without having to be in any sort of a belief system and just following logic. Just Lo logic doesn't give you compassion. Okay. And then if they forward, cross the road and they go onto the, the world of Quran and the Islam uh, okay, race, you they find out that they've devolution no, and they've went okay. back okay. and they've went into you, a lower you, you vibration. Like That's yeah. how we feel when we're around the, the Muslims or the Christians. Stop moving around so much. The camera can't keep up with me. I'm not interested in the camera. I'm interested in the last. I want to learn here from you guys. Let me just relax, brother. So there's a, you remind me, you remind me of a hadith of the Prophet. I'm going to just give you the hadith here because it's... I think it helps. No matter yeah. how much you want to do it, specifically in your question, yeah. So there were three men that came to find out about the Prophet, peace be upon him. And even though both have reasons, and we have to challenge the reasons. I can't, I can't remember who they met and who they saw, but they were told about the Prophet. No. The Prophet was alive at this time, they were told about the Prophet. What does that mean? And he was told that this, he fasts and he breaks his fast. And the, and the men said, oh, one of the men said, I'm going I'm to fast, but I'm never going to break my fast. Yeah. Another one said that, you know, he... He's, he married and he spends time with his family and he goes, no, well, I'm never going to marry the women, I'm just going to be worshipping. It's irrelevant to the point. And then so another thing was that was given him is that um, um, he prays sometimes and he sleeps sometimes. Yeah. I'm never going to sleep, I'm going to pray all the time. Yeah? Like you said, taking it to the higher level, yeah? yeah. Raising the game from whatever so the, the Prophet Peace is doing, but taking it to the higher game. So what did the Prophet Peace Upon Him say? Doesn't need proof. When he was told to about these men who had come and this is what right. they said. And if two beliefs... He said, I am the messenger of Allah and Allah has commanded me with these things. And I am the, the best the, amongst the, you. The strength of the conviction. That means because I have this connection to Allah, He has told me what I need to do, and this is the best way to be. Just by saying I fast and I enough. break my fast. You have to challenge the I pray and, me, and I sleep I and I marry the women. So what he's saying me, is that there's a, there is a limit. You are not required to be living no just with spirituality in mind Islamic or just living in the world. You have to, you have, to have a balance of the both. And if you can't the only way for you to know is this the right, right way of being or not the right way of being. There's only one way. If that creator himself tells you this is the way of being. Now, you can, like you've, you've mentioned all of these different religions and you said, you know, taking it to high vibration, you believe God is everywhere. Convince me. Judaism doesn't believe God is everywhere. Islam doesn't believe God is everywhere. There's lots of religions that don't believe what you believe. But you're still believing somehow that you can reconcile all these together as one. And that's the problem I'm saying to you, that these religions are mutually they exclusive and in your mind yeah, I like that word yeah. remember I'm here to learn today also. mutually exclusive and in your mind you're saying somehow they're all compatible and that's what Correct. It is. they're not now, they're not compatible so, and some are connected absolutely. some are so not so now what you're bringing is something new 
Correct. Now, well, that's what Hamza did. No, no Hamza, so 2017, okay. started so, something so what's, new. What is important it's is a philosophy, okay. not a religion. I understand. It's a way so of thought. What, okay, so what's important is, well, if you're going to bring something new, bring it. Yeah, I didn't bring yeah, anything yeah, today. No problem, no problem. Nothing. Next, next time, being a child, next, next time asking come. stupid questions, next time, next playing time around with words, because I'm trying to it find your brain. Next time you come, yeah. bring it. Okay. Let's have a look at it. For 21st okay. century man. We're not afraid of anything. Why? Because if you believe something is true. I love those words. If you believe something is true, then whatever information anyone brings, you're not worried about. Yeah. So you are open, basically. Yeah, open to so look at the evidence, so look at the information, different ways of, of thinking, different thoughts, all that. And if something resonates to you, what would you do? Look, I'm going to be honest with you. If someone were to, and you have to be honest about this thing, if someone were to convince anybody else that what you're believing is not true, then automatically you're required, if you're sincere, to not accept that thing anymore. That's an that's a internal compassion requirement of sincerity. Yeah. If you if you if you hold on to a false belief, then you're deluded. I have a quick question. What's the proof of the Gabriel Muhammad writing? Because I get asked this question a lot. When it comes to evidence base, where do you go, okay, go right back. now? So we have wait, unlimited you, access you of funds, and we want to go now. And I want to dedicate six months of my life with 50 researchers to look at evidence base. And don't tell me the miracles or the predictions he did. I don't want to hear about the predictions because everybody did predictions. No, no. This is not a. This is information. I mean information. Does a belief need proof to be true? No. So I said proof of. Okay. So, but but you guys break that by saying that to change you need evidence against. No, 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 it. no, 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 no. Didn't say that at all. Didn't say that at all. So okay. anyway, so, we, we close the argument by saying it is a book that's closed. But the, there was a contradiction between what both of you said. No, no, there was no contradiction. No. Because he says... No. There's no contradiction. No, not at all. That it's a belief based no. on evidence, no. No. and you would gladly look no, no, at no, other no, evidence. No, 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 no. Say evidence. no we didn't say that at all. I didn't use the word evidence. Look, first principle, I said reasons. would you just accept it? A belief doesn't need proof to be true. Reasons come from... We need reasons. From uh, evidence, no, from information. Not, not necessarily. No. Yeah, we, we need evidence, no, no, information. No, 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 we need reasons. We need evidence reasons. can be anything. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we don't need proof yeah. for it to be true. Okay. Now, so I can't prove to you that uh, the Quran is the word of God. Can't prove it to you. Yeah. I can tell you why I believe it is the word of God, and I give him the reasons for that. Okay. Which will, like I say, digress to what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being a messenger of Allah. Yeah. It's all going back to that point, and I've given you the key to unlock the box. Okay. Convince me, he's not. But the problem you've got is, you believe he is. <laughs> I believe what? Muhammad is a messenger. Again, you, the idea of a messenger for you, I told you, Google it. That's the first thing we did. Oh, so you don't accept it? Google, a messenger doesn't have to create miracles. A messenger, I believe he's oh, definitely no, 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 a messenger. I'll rephrase it. I'll rephrase All the messages I'll rephrase it. I'll rephrase came it. from God. I'll rephrase it. Yeah. I'll rephrase it. But I don't, I don't have to necessarily it. believe. Right. Do you believe Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, received revelation from God through the angel Gabriel? I believe I am a messenger from God. I believe Muhammad is a messenger from God. All right, I'll That's say it my answer. Say it against you? I believe I am a messenger from God. Right, I believe face, Muhammad was a messenger face, from God. Face, face, face. I'll say it against you. Okay. Will you stop making everything about you? No, nope, I'm giving you. No, but I didn't ask about you. For you to understand but it I didn't perfectly. Ask about you. Okay. But I didn't ask about you. So I'll say it again to you. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Do you believe <laughs> that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received revelation from Allah through the angel Gabriel? Do you believe that or not? That's what I've been told. I'm not interested in what you've been told. Why don't you answer the question? Because he, he knows. Because he knows. He will uh, expose his own. He, he plays. Uh, There's no he game plays here. There's no question. game here. Simple, simple yes Do you believe no? he received revelation from the angel Gabriel or not? Why don't you answer the question? I don't understand. No, let me Because I, I, I started this whole thing that we are not in the world of belief. Okay. No, 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 no. Why don't you answer the question? No, no. I live. Based on a no, philosophy, it's a simple not a belief. Question, really is a simple I don't want a belief system. No, I want no. to know. It's a simple now, based question. on what the Quran says, yes, based on what my Muslim friend says. I'm not interested. Yes. I'm not interested. Do I believe? I think all of us, no, no, no. all of them, what do you from believe? Adam to Buddha to, to. I'll say it again to you. We're messages. I'm going to say it again to you. It's basically. Not, it's not a tricky question. Yeah. And a Christian who was here would answer it like that. An atheist here would answer it like what that. What would they say? No. They would say oh. no. Right. So I'll say it again to you. Do you believe that Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, received revelation through the angel Gabriel from Allah. Based on the information you guys give. It's got nothing to do with me. Yes. <laughs> now, if you're liars, you're going to end up, no. Good. Even, even this is good. Yeah. Even it's, if they tell you convincing reasons, you have to be... Based on what the Muslims say, yes. So you believe So you it, believe yeah. what the Muslims say? 
historically, if they're lying, then it's going to be bullshit. So you believe what they say. And if it's correct, then it's true. So you believe what they say. I'm, I'm going to pretend we're playing this game where we're all no uh, evolutionary no and knowledge, no like you said, no game, and there's no liars. Then I would say yes. There is no game. I would say yes. You believe he's a messenger? Yeah, I would say yes. Right. Then we are but I believe after him came other messengers. Yeah, but, the, but then... You guys are saying no. I believe no, they then, came and I have the proof of it. All right. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's, 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 what's the proof? evidence? Sorry. What's the proof? Let's present it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you proof now. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, I'd yeah. like you to do is research it. No, 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 no. no. You said you can prove it. Yeah. What do you mean? You said you got proof. What do you mean? If, if I if I want to uh, if I want to prove how easy it is to make energy out of algae, why can't I prove it now? Well, you just said you could well, give me the yes. theory. Give me the so theory. Let me speak. Yeah. Give me the theory. Okay. I might what, be able what to you need to do is go back to the books right. and start researching 1017. So you don't have the evidence here. Is that what you're saying? Start researching Hamza. Start researching the call. Okay. Are you saying Al Hakim bi Amrillah? Go into Egypt and then we'll talk in two, in two weekends. Are you from right down, no. Right down, no. Are you from right Egypt? Down, no. no. Where are you from? I'm a Lebanese British. Lebanese British. Okay. You yes. think you're born in Pakistan? You believe in this? Again, I have not nothing to do with my uh, background or my family. I am a, I am a person that has been Where do in you search get, of the truth. How long have you been a Druze? How long have I been a Druze? Yeah. The Druze is the blood I carry. Yeah. Who I am is a philosopher. The and Druze, who I am is a person so Druze, in search of truth. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So the Druze is not a religion? You don't understand what I'm trying to tell you. First of all, the Druze, no, it's not a religion. Right, well, it's right, a philosophy. Right. One. Right, right, right. Two, so what's your religion? I'm, I'm so not what's... saying that I'm 100% Druze or I'm interested in, in Druze. What I'm trying to tell you is that there are other prophets. No, no, but you... And I'm telling you the Druze have also a prophet. Okay, okay, okay. And other so people have so also Druze prophets. Your, so Why Druze... should we limit it right. to one person? So yeah. Druze is your tribe? That's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, okay. But you have a book. And the what Druze are in Israel, are in Lebanon. This is what I'm telling you. I heard you. They're in Israel, they're in Lebanon. They're in Syria, they're in America. Amal Clooney, George Clooney's wife, is Druze. Oh, okay. so we follow a philosophy, oh, not a religion. We don't live in a fear based paradigm. What's your philosophy called? Al Muahidun. What? Al Muahidun. They call them Muahidun. Al Muahidun. Unitarianism. Unitarianism. They believe in reincarnation, they believe in the mind, the soul, the word, the cause, they the effect. Truthful the tongue, protection of the brother. They believe the grass is green, sky is blue. To to Any religion. other obvious Take things they down to the paradise city. Not everyone can access this book, which means that they cannot prove it is. Uh, a, a book from uh, God. Yeah, but there's our book there's is two parts. There's there's ignorance and there's wisdom. But the point is, I'm not here to talk about that. I only brought it up to tell you that these people, the Druze, so who's this, believe there's uh, another uh, this Hamza guy. Uh, Hamza, he's who's a he? prophet. Who's he? Why do you he's a, Egyptian, he's a beautiful Egyptian. guy like you. And had blue eyes. He went from Zanzan, a city in a Iran, and he went to Egypt. On the way, he started getting information. And, okay. Okay. And that's and it. look at that. Maybe maybe it's right. Maybe it's wrong. When he got to Egypt, the Hakim Amir fell in love with him. The Egyptian king. He created something called the call. And, and does what he, does what he, what he, what his information that he got, yeah. is it contrary to You the don't know anything about it, so don't give your opinion yeah, until you research it. And I'm not going to, I mean, the, po the point of the story there. I'm asking you a question. I know. The point of the story there is to, to, Fais, to the Druze, he's Fais, also a prophet. I'm asking you a question. So there's other prophets that came you after you. Now, if you want evidence, I'll give you Fais, evidence. Fais. But again, it's all not right, going to be today. We can swap emails. And it's not going to be through them. It's going to be through scientists right. who bought up right. meetings. I don't want evidence. Who bought up I don't want evidence. I don't want evidence. I want to understand your position. I want to understand your position. Yeah. Okay. So is what this Hamza on his journey yeah. information, is yeah. it contrary to the Quran or confirms the Quran? He, he, he confirms Muhammad. No, no. Is it contrary to the Quran? As a messenger, he confirms all the good, but we move the bad. Oh, so stop. stop Quran stop. has good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Horses. So your prophet <laughs> said Muhammad is a prophet. Yes. And you were Amman and Amman about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you in an hour for? Your prophet said he's a prophet. Yeah, we're not against Muhammad so being a prophet. So why were you saying, oh, you people, this, that, when your prophet said he was a prophet? My problem is not Muhammad. We all love Muhammad. No, 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 who no, doesn't love Muhammad? Well, you My didn't problem is the Muslims who can't even get along. No, 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 no. Faze, the I Muslims asked you a straight who, who question. are preaching something. I asked you a straight question. Yes. Whether Muhammad's a messenger of Allah, and you were saying you people say he is, when your own prophet says he was. <laughs> no. He said, is he sent from God? And the whole Quran thing, I said basically no, what's no. insane. No, prophet. No. Okay. One. Messenger two, of Allah. Two, I didn't tell you. Yes. It's ridiculous. Prophet. Listen to me. The same answer I would give I, I would give to Muhammad, I would give really to Hamza. Hey, stop, stop playing with words. No, no, ridiculous, ridiculous for you to say that word no, ridiculous. No, no, no. Yes. Let's not yeah. Yeah. I'm not under pressure. Yeah. I'm very relaxed. I don't mind having conversations with people, okay. right? Yeah. No, I don't mind. No, but that's not true. You just said the word. I think it's a ridiculous I'm telling you, just like they told me about Muhammad, they told me about Hamza. No, no, no. Okay? Here's the dishonesty. Based on Hamza's story, there's... There's, uh, there's Listen, uh, your, there's answer, your answer... Based on Muhammad's story, no, there's no, a Jesus. No, no, no. We'll follow their stories. Based on your yeah. prophet, 
Stop saying my prophet. You call him a prophet. Yeah, he's a prophet, but don't say my prophet. He's, he's a prophet. prophet. Is he a prophet? He has his own. Is he your prophet? He has his own. Is he your prophet? We never he's, a, he, oh, he's one of our prophets. Is he a prophet for you? A human race. Is he a prophet for you? Maybe he is. Maybe he is. He's no, he's a neutral <laughs> man. He's a neutral man. He's a neutral man. <laughs> he, 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 he a prophet for you. He knows that it is not right, and he's questioning. Is he a prophet for you? Is he a prophet for you? Maybe he is. Maybe he is. No, is he or not? Do you believe he is? I know that there's information, and he. Is part of our history. Do you believe he's a prophet for you or not? He's part of our history. You follow I, him. I'm a different issue right now. He is a philosopher. No, 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 no. We're, here to, we're here to discuss that there's so, other no, no, prophets. No, no, no. That no, no. What we're here to do is to test your honesty now. Yeah. Because either if you believe he's a prophet, which you do, so I don't know why you're hiding, right? First thing. Second thing, your prophet said Muhammad is a prophet. So when you was asked that question, I don't know why you ignored it. Or I, I never ignored it. it. You, you understand? I, I told you scientifically, I don't have the proof. Why didn't you respond? That he was there. See, 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 see here's the difference between me and Giving all this information. Here's the difference between me and thee. If I believe what you believed, yeah. and you yeah. ask me the question, yeah. is Muhammad yeah. Sassan a messenger yeah. of Allah, and I believe what you believe, I would say, well, according to what I believe, and the Prophet Hamza from whatever, whatever, yes, he confirms Muhammad is a prophet. But you didn't. Because I'm not in a belief system. Nor am I in a belief paradigm. Philosophy. I don't, don't know. you believe what Hamza said? Why? Because in a second he could change my historical evidence on Hamza. And I would say, you know what? You're do, right. Do you believe this Hamza Versus we problem? can never do that for you. Listen. Do, do you believe some, this You're acting like a child in, in <laughs> kindergarten. Yes, let me tell you why. Because in a second he can convince me that Hamza didn't exist. No, no. Listen to me. I told you that he is an, came from Egypt, came to, to the I know all of that. But the point is, you can convince book. me in a second. We no, cannot no, I convince read, you. I made the because you are not about evidence or science or history. You are about the belief system. So I'm not in the air believing. No, no. I was told stories. I asked you a simple question. Okay. This guy said that... What that was my question? I asked you a simple question. Is, is Hamza, the teachings of Hamza, right, <laughs> contrary to the Quran? 